Hi good people from all around the world, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode we were exploring with the sea, sea Glide trying to explore the Aurora but we died so I exited the last save to save up because I lost a little bunch of my inventory. Uh, unfortunately because of that I had to go all the way back to the Aurora but on the way back I found this upside down, this upside down uh, pod here. So I'm hoping there's at least one useful thing in here. I'm hoping creature decoy that? at least there's there, that's something at least there doesn't seem to be anything else um, not that I can see at least, oh abandoned PDA uh, they're probably dead yeah those poor people but anyways that's what I found I bet if I tried hard enough with the sea glide I could pop up um, up to it like a dolphin Bet you I could. I'm not gonna do that stuff like that with the sea moth anymore, but I can do it with the sea glide. I can get away with it with the sea glide. Aw man. Whoa, I can almost move through it. Anyway, so I thought I would show that real quick. We're almost at the sea moth. I decided to take the very, very risky decision of going with the sea moth to the Aurora to hopefully get some more uh, fragment scans, especially the laser cutter tool, I think that's going to help out. I think it might be the thing that breaks the uh, those big chunks of uh, nodes and stuff, too. I think that might be the thing that does that, so. These remind me of Valheim. They're very similar to the ones in Valheim, too. Almost there. Whoa. But the sea moth is even faster. It's going to be even quicker with the sea moth. But like I said, it's going to be very risky. I will be right back when we get there, guys. All right. All right, guys. We are back. We're going to take the very risky move. I'm saving right now. I am saving. take the very very risky move of using the sea moth to get to explore the deeper darker spots of the aurora I'm gonna try to go more to the left because that's slightly safer I've had multiple multiple encounters with the Reaper Leviathan on the left hand side but not too many on on uh, the left only mostly on the right hand side over here now the Reaper Leviathan, of course, could show up on the left. It's done that a couple times. There might be even two of them. I don't know. But it has shown up less in the left than the right. If that makes any kind of sense at all. So hopefully we're going to find some kind of more fragments um, to, exp to get, especially if it's the laser cutting tool. I probably should have looked up laser cutting tool on the wiki to see if there actually was a really a specific spot that you get it from. But at any rate, we're here now. And I've saved, and I'm going to save again, just in case. Watch it right where I save, that's where the Leviathan shows up. Hm. You don't want to save in a bad spot where you're freaking right in front of a Leviathan, so if you die, then you have to... I've done that last time. I died was I exited back to a previous spot. Now we're getting to where we're at the 200 meter spot where it would have been a lot tougher. I wonder if you could break anything while you're in in here. I don't think you can. Nope. Oh god, I'm not bang myself. Luckily, it did not affect my whole integrity. Is there anything in here at all? Ah, it just looks like fragments. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. This was where we were before. Oh, that wave of water, man. I thought it was something else. This is where the tree mushroom thingies are, but maybe it's, this is just a different one. God, that fish scared me. So this is another tree mushroom area. Up oh, there's lithium, I think. Yeah, that's, li that's either lithium or lead. I don't know which. It is lithium. Awesome, all right. Salt there. Alright, there's 
very risky here. Do I see any Reaper Leviathans? Not yet, no. Looks like there's some type of a, of a scannable thing here. I don't know if it's actually useful or not. Cyclops hole, okay. Ah oh, man, we already have that. Shoot. This might have been where I was the first time I discovered this kind of biome before. Is that another lithium? Yeah. Man, we're getting loads of lithium now. Loads of lithium. Lithium everywhere now. I'm saving again. I am saving. It can get annoying saving this much, but I'd rather be annoyed and save my progress than lose my progress. The freaking Reaper Leviathan showed up or something. Uh, that's another whole fragment. I already got it. Moon pool fragment. That's interesting. Moon pool. Oh no. Oh lordy lord. Oh lordy lordy lordy. You guys saw it. I saw it too. I am saving. Oh, Lord. Okay, so let's explore in here. In the Aurora itself. Hopefully that will yield more stuff. This looks like a scannable. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm going to have to repair a little bit. You never know. Another moon pool fragment, huh? There we go. We unlocked the moon pool. That's something. There we go. Saving again. I'm saving again. Because Lord knows... Probably gonna end up dying to the freaking Reaper Leviathan or something. Okay, we gotta find a safe way to enter this thing. This looks like a good spot as any right here. Alright, now we can really explore. Looks like there might be a fragment of something here. Hopefully it's just not hopefully it's not decorative. Hopefully it's actually something. Nope, it's deck. It is decorative. Okay, of course. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh no. Oh, gee, how did it get through? It went through the freaking ground. It went through the freaking ground. Did you see that? It went through the freaking ground. How is that? Must have been some kind of a glitch, but you guys saw that. You guys saw that. I thought I was going to be safe from the Reaper Leviathan here. I'm thinking... It can't, it can't abandon the laws of physics, no. It can't go through ground, but it can. It can go through ground, as we just saw. That was freaky, man. Alright, I'm hoping that this is something worth it. I'm hoping here. Please beat the laser cutter tool. 
Of course. Of course it is, because why not? Of course, of course, of freaking course it is. It's so dark in here too, man. I was really hoping there was going to be more fragments to scan down here. Looks like there's freaking nothing in here, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. How did it get in here? I do not understand that. How did it get through? Uh, of all the places where I thought it was safe, of all the places where I thought it was going to... I'm going to hide in here. It can't get me behind this thing, can it? Well, it can move through the freaking ground. It's going to be able to move through some freaking tin metal. <laughs> Hello? Lucy? Lucy, I'm home. No? Okay. Oh, no. Lucy's angry. Is this a scannable, or is this just decorative? Man, I thought when I dinged up against that thing, I thought for sure it got me. I thought for sure. I thought for sure I was dead. My orientation with the ground is all messed up now. I can't see. Like, it feels like I'm sideways. I know I'm probably not, that's just how it looks, but that's what it feels like. Like I'm freaking, my orientation with the ground is all messed up right now. Is there anything in this one? Anything useful in this one at all? If it's a propulsion cannon, I swear to... F if it's a propul... It's a pro... <clears throat> Where is this freaking laser... Fragment thing? Where is it? Where is it? I would like to know, please. I would like to know, please, and kindly, sir. Thank you. Man, I have lost all orientation. You see how it's wobbling? Still? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go home. So it's not what I was hoping for. I at least I got the moon pool. I got the moon pool. I have no idea what the moon pool is. But I got it. Freaking Reaper Leviathan jumps up and catches me in its mouth. Watch. Some, something crazy like that is going to happen. <sighs> Man, here I was thinking there was going to be loads of fragments. Plenty. Well, I did get the moon pool, but aside from that, I have no idea what the moon pool is. If it's useful or if it's like the freaking chair where it's just decorative. And there's times where I don't mind decorative stuff. Oh, no. Do you hear it? I hear it. I freaking hear it. I don't know if you guys hear it, but I hear it. I'm going straight for the freaking pod. And if it follows me to my base, it follows me to my base. It can be all about that base. I don't care. This will still be trouble. Is it behind me? No. No, it's not. A moon walking away from you. Yee-hee. Okay. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. This is... I think that's one of the best parts about the game is just how amazing they the environment that they've made and how beautiful it is and all the effects and everything like the water effects are amazing and maybe that's why it takes so much uh, to record and the file size is so big because everything in this game is so beautiful and amazing look at that Aww, they're traveling together it's so cute whoa did you see that there it's like a flicker of something blue over that oh that's just some fishies I can't believe we made it guys we made it I have no idea if the moon pool is useful or if it's as useful as the freaking chair or what the deal is with the moon pool it sounds like something decorative but for all I know it could be a massive locker or something I don't freaking know I just hope it's useful for something that the trip wasn't a big waste I just hope all right I gotta slow down I gotta repair before I forget no hmm. I was trying to repair I pressed the wrong mouse button right click right click haha -ha. so I don't know with the moon pool if that's useful at all let's check that out saving now that we're home safe it's not let me save what's the deal now it's let me save all right now that we're home safe watch the Rupert Leviathan come up and eat that thing alive all right blueprints freaking laser cutter I gotta look that up on the freaking uh Creature decoy. Well, that tracks to creatures to its location can be deployed by hand and it Cannot be re reclaimed once deployed. So that might be a good thing to ward off the freaking Reaper Leviathan. Oh. Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. Alright, so it's kind of useful. It's more useful than a chair, but it's not going to, like, it's not, like, a new thing that's going to help us, you know, move forward. It's just useful if you have it, but not really, not really all that great. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good day in the next episode. I might explore with the sea moth some more. I'm going to look up the laser cutter on the wiki because with as many fragments as I've been scanning, it's kind of ridiculous I haven't got it yet. So I must be missing something. Maybe I have to go back in the Aurora for it. I don't know. But I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.